everybody, Mike Beer here. We have a couple of graded stakes races, grade three races at Indiana Grand on Wednesday. Two divisions for the three-year-olds. We're going to start off with uh, race number 11, which is the Indiana Oaks for the three-year-old Phillies. Mile and a 16th on the main track. Big field of 11 horses entered. Let's take a look at that field right now. The two uh, favorites on your morning line. Drawn down to the two inside post. A one will secret, five to two morning line favorite. Exiting a pretty good third in the Kentucky Oaks the last time we saw her back on April 30th. The number two shipping in from California for trainer Richard Mandela is Soothsay. Very lightly raced three-year-old with a nice pedigree. Only three starts so far. She's three to one on the morning line. Probably has a little bit of improving to do um, to go with a horse like Will Secret, but this horse could have some upside. She's a, a relatively short price on the morning line. And then you get um, into some horses that are, are really going to have to um, continue to develop. Um, in order to contend in a race like this. I mean, they made the, the number five uh, lovely ride, a horse who comes into this race on a, on a real roll right now. Three for three so far as a three-year-old for trainer Brett Calhoun. Um, four to one on the, on the line. It seems like, you know, maybe a little bit of a, a short kind of price to take on a horse like that, but she could be good. She has a good pedigree. Her last three races are all um, pretty impressive wins. Her figures are headed the right way, and she did stretch out effectively in her most recent race. So she's an interesting horse in here to be sure. We'll, we'll see how, how it all plays out. Um, from a wagering perspective come post time because it does kind of feel like the number one will secret um, could um, be more heavily favored in the morning line suggested and perhaps she should be her, her form is actually very good she's a little bit of an underrated horse let's start off by taking a look at the time form us pace projector for this race um, no advantage to the front runners or the closers according to time form us um, they have that aforementioned number five lovely ride uh, right up there out um, on or near the lead along with the number nine uh, lady aces lady aces is another very lightly raced three-year-old filly shipping in from california actually exits the same race as soothes say they both ran in the summertime oaks last time lady aces was on the lead that day she was stretching out for the first time she was right off of her maiden win at the end of the day she was just no match uh, for the one two finishes in there it wasn't a terrible performance it is certainly one that she's going to have to improve upon uh, not that she can't do that she's by constitution she's the first foal out of a dam who did win seven times her dam um, economy of motion was you know a little bit more of a cheaper claiming kind of horse won seven times all sprinting on the dirt uh, but she's also a sister to the to the really good uh, grade one winning dirt router paradise woods so there's a little bit of pedigree here she did show some talent i thought in her first two starts um, but again her her summertime oaks last time just felt like the kind of race where um, she wasn't competitive with a couple of better horses despite having a relatively soft trip on the lead in there and she has to improve to go with this field we'll see if she can do that we'll start off by just you know talking about the favorite for a little bit here will secret um she's just to me anyway a, a really underrated three-year-old filly and obviously her last two starts are, are grade ones and she ran fine in both the ashland and the Kentucky Oaks to finish third in, in those two races. No match for Malathot, who was the clear leader of this division right now, but Will Secret all in all ran fine in those races as far as I could tell. I loved the ride that John Cork gave her in the Ashland, even though she was last of six early in there. Um, I think he did the right thing. He took her back and he put her right behind the horse to beat who was Malathot. And he just followed Malathot around the track and decided to take a shot in the stretch. Will Secret wasn't good enough, but she finished a good third in there. She came back with, I thought, an even better performance in the Kentucky Oaks last time. Third again, she's just not as good as Malathot at this stage of the game, but this is a very underrated filly. She shows up and she runs every time. Let's go back and look at the grade three win that she posted uh, before they tried those two grade ones. This is the grade three honeybee at Oaklawn back in the beginning of March. Um, she ran really well in this race. Um, a slight favorite in here at two to one, got a very good trip in this race. I like the fact that you know, John Court rides her with a lot of confidence and he just always, he can just put her wherever he wants in a race. She has the speed to get up close as she did in this race. She was up, not exactly on the lead all the way, but really controlling this race from the outside as a long shot sort of set the pace towards the rail, took things over around the second turn. And you can see through the stretch, um, just keeping the second and third finishers in this race are both pretty good. They're both given hard chase and Will Secret just not letting them get into the race in here. Um, kept them at bay all the way, clear to the wire. Very good performance um, to pick up a grade three. That was the third win in a row for her um, as a three-year-old. And again, she came out of that race to, to run really well on a couple of grade ones. I think she's way the horse to beat in here. Um, we'll see what kind of price she winds up being. Sooth say, I can see her taking a step forward. Um, if I'm being honest, it's, uh, I'm not thrilled with her summertime oaks last time. Um, she got a perfectly good trip in there, as I mentioned before. The pace wasn't fast. She sat up there with Lady Aces, the eventual winner, Crazy Beautiful. 
sat right behind them. Crazy Beautiful came for them in the stretch, and it, w it really wasn't much of a contest. Suse um, didn't really have much of an answer for Crazy Beautiful. Crazy Beautiful's pretty good. I mean, she did exit that race a couple of days ago. They took her to, to Delaware. She won the Delaware Oaks very easily against an overmatched field with a 91 buyer. Crazy Beautiful's fine. Um, you know, I'm not so sure that Crazy Beautiful, though, is any better than Will Secret is. In fact, if you if I had to take, you know, just one in a heads up race, I would take Will Secret over Crazy Beautiful at this point. And, um, you know, so Suse is going to, in my opinion, is going to have to improve um, to beat Will Secret in this race. Not that she can't do it again. She's very lightly raced for a very good trainer. Um, a couple of the other horses, I guess, that we could just, you know, sort of touch on. Olivia of the Desert is the three for Ken McPeak. I guess the one thing that you would like about her is that she's going to be a price in this race. I, I personally feel like she could be a little bit underrated, although um, she's now run four times as a three-year-old. Um, and even though she has, uh, she did win a stakes race most recently at Prairie Meadows, um, it just sort of feels like she hasn't really taken much of a step forward from three to uh, from two to three. I thought she was pretty good at two and uh, maybe a little bit better than she looked on paper, but she hasn't really taken a step forward yet. And obviously she's going to have to do that. The stakes win last time was fine at Prairie Meadows, but it was a relatively slow race and it was only a four horse field. So she's got to do better. I thought Lovely Ride was interesting. Um, the horse that we touched on earlier shipping in for Brett Calhoun. I just like all three of her, her races so far this year. The first two were five and a half furlong sprints. She won those races very easily though. Pretty impressive. And I like the way that she did it. Showed speed in, in the first one to keep right up close. Did some chasing in the second one. Stayed very gamely and pulled clear in the stretch. And then they stretched her out last time at Churchill. First time around two turns going this mile and 16th distance. I thought she ran well again, 87 bar. She did have a pretty soft trip in that race. The pace wasn't fast. She sat right up on it, took over as they came into the stretch there, and then just pulled clear with another good finish. I, I really like the way this filly finishes in her races. I think that's a good sign for her going forward. She's by Candy Ride. Her dam was a grade two winner um, over a mile on dirt in New York. So there's plenty of pedigree here. Her form is trending the right way. She has a great running style for this race. She is going to have to improve. I personally think she's a major player in here. I would also probably want a little more than four to one if I was going to bet her. It's the only reason that when we get to the pictures, I don't have her on top in here, but if she drifts off the four to one, I could easily bet her in this race. Lil Tootsie, the seven, could take some support in this race, I suppose. I think it's a real question with Lil Tootsie, um, you know, what her, her um, ideal distance is. They've, they've run her long twice so far in her career, and she did win one of those races at the fairgrounds. Um, back in February it was a sloppy track allowance race right off of her maiden win and she ran fine to win that race but she also had a great setup in there with a contested pace in front of her and got a great ride that day also right up on the inside finding room um, getting to the lead in the stretch and holding on she ran fine that day the more I watch her run the more I think she's probably a little bit better sprinting I have no problem with Tom Amos here stretching her out one more time just to see what happens in a grade three race because obviously if you have a filly who can get a distance of ground a three-year-old filly um, in the summer months, um, there's money to be made. So you got to try and find out if she can stretch out uh, more effectively. As of now, I think she's more of a sprinting type and didn't really want her in this race, but she could be a price in here. So I wouldn't argue too hard with anybody who liked her. Uh, Lady Aces, we talked about a little before, before too. I didn't really want the horses coming out of the summertime oaks, but this is a lightly raced filly who does have, she has some um, upside potential, I think, for a really good trainer. So I wouldn't be too quick to give up on her um, at this point. I actually liked her in the Summertime Oaks last time. I thought she ran fine at a fair price in that kind of a short field. But again, I didn't really see the excuse. She just wasn't any match, not only for the winner, Crazy Beautiful, but for, but for Suze, um, who sat right up there on the pace with her. So this filly obviously has to take a step forward here. Maybe she'll do it. She's going to be a, a good price in this race, too. Get the picks up there now. Um, because I really, you know, at the end of the day, couldn't um, go against Will Seeger. And I did put her on top in here, um, especially if she's going to be 5-2. to two. I don't know if that morning line um, is going to hold. If she's 5-2 to two in this race, I think that's actually fair value on Will Seeger. I think she's way the horse to be in here. I think she's an underrated three-year-old filly. Dallas Stewart has found a really good spot for her in here. If she gets bet down um, and that, you know, allows the number five lovely ride to drift higher than that 4-1, to one, I would be happy to switch my picks and bet the five in this race. We'll see how the wagering all plays out. As it stands here a couple of days out, I got Will Secret on top, 1523 in the Indiana Oaks, grade three at Indiana Grand on Wednesday. It's race number 11. Good luck.